My beautiful population one people nice to see you today on this monday kind of morning afternoon evening depending on where you are in the world got a uh interview for you a tipsy tricksy takeover and today we are also interviewing another builder as june is my month of builder interviews so got a nice one packed in for you uh over on the uk side so i hope you enjoy the content if you don't uh go ahead please feel free to comment in uh all the ways that i fail you i don't mind anyways joyful things now moving forward we're gonna go into this nice little uh welcome uh mysterious uh place here um yeah, this, this is kind of like phasmophobia right here. I'm walking into an unknown location and I have no idea what I'm walking into. But luckily, I know on the other side, it will not be a ghost that kills me. We have whoo, the beautiful room of bananas. Builder interview with Tipsy Trixie featuring our very own Taffy Dragon VR. This is beautiful. Woohoo! And we're going, holy cow, there's Taffy. Oh, cool. Hey, table. what's up, guys? Oh my goodness, you guys. I am, oh my gosh, you caught something? Look at this, you guys. It's my favorite <laughs> drink in the whole world. Today's tipple is the Amaretto Sour. That's my favorite drink. I aim to please. Oh my goodness, Taffy, this is amazing. The Builder's <laughs> Bar. Okay, I'm just going to um, walk around and offer just a second. Holy cow. Yeah, take it in. We've got our beautiful shield shakers set out here, our sodas. I feel like this is a, a definite Friday night of drunkenness. Ooh, what's behind here? We've got a special little, uh-huh, okay. Very neat. Got our pull sticks. And we have a talent show. Sweet. This is definitely, um, we've got a P90 here. And uh, I can definitely deal with the Magnum. And uh, P90 not so much. Oh, there's, am I allowed to go in the back room? Or is that the next room? There's, yeah, there's, there's not much in the back room. Not much what excitement out there. Man? Ooh, a back room! <laughs> and back out to all these beautiful bananas and everything. You guys, this is great. This is absolutely fun, fun, fun. Look at all these little secret chapters. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Taffy Dragon. Taffy, we know your name because uh, you've been uh, on our original, uh, our, our plane map, right? 
That's right. Uh-huh. Yeah, with my jungle warfare. Jungle Warfare. Now I got to tell you, um, that was one of my uh, favorite maps when we were playing uh, with the devs a while back before they featured it on the original map. Um, I love. Oh, I appreciate your that. Jungle Warfare. Yeah, I really like it. So, welcome. We've got a lot of questions to ask you. You have a lot of things to show me. Are you ready to start up with uh, all the hot and heavy questions? Certainly. Yeah. So, welcome Perfect. to the bar. Thank you. Now, would you like to go behind the bar or maybe up on the stage for the talent show? Oh, I show? got, yeah, I'll, I think I'll go. Right behind yeah. the mic here. This is perfect. Okay, so Taffy Dragon, as we've got I have some been people... practicing my magic, uh, <laughs> my magic tricks for you as well. So awesome. I'm just going to um, refresh my uh, speech chat real quick. There we go. As we have people rolling in to say hello, um, let's just go ahead and get going. So, so guys? Mm-hmm. Um, let's go ahead and start Ta-da. with the easy questions. Holy cow! <laughs> he pulled flowers out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Taffy Dragon, where are you located? So I'm I'm from a country called Wales in the UK. Um, it's a relatively small country. And um, by relatively small, it's actually smaller than New Jersey. Mm-hmm. To be a, quite a tiny little country. Okay. Uh, and do you mind sharing with our Population One community what you do More for a living 520. outside of this game? Said. Certainly, yeah. So um, I work in furniture restoration and repairs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's basically rejuvenating, regenerating furniture. Well, you've done a really nice job on this room here. I want to tell you that uh, all this rejuvenated furniture looks beautiful, nice and shiny. So nice work in here. Um, I believe your outside work probably is just as impeccable. Um, let's it's talk insane. about... It's insane. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Some of that stuff that I've seen like turned over. Oh my God, he's pulling out a ladder from the hat. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, I didn't know I was going to get a magic show. Where's Wesley Snipes when you need him? He loves magic. All right. Well, how long have you been playing Population One? Right. So, I mean, I wasn't as... I haven't been playing as long as a lot of the others. So I first uh, downloaded the game... Oh, let me think. January 2022. Okay. It has to be January 22. And you're that good of a builder. Jeez, I feel so under par here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was perseverance. Uh-huh. Uh, what level are you currently? So I am currently level 58. I'm probably about a kill and a half away from uh, 59. Okay. Really close. But I okay. haven't really spent a lot of time playing lately because I've been so busy building. Yeah. Um, And do you have any favorite Pop1 streamers for regular uh, gameplay content? Pop1 streamers? Well, Tipsy Trixie, you were my number one. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Every single builder so far has mentioned me. I'm so (laughs) preoccupied. Well, yeah, this stuff I can imagine. Yeah, take a bow. Uh Uh-huh, thank you. Um, (laughs) The stuff that you build is like amazing though it's um stuff that i we'll get to it about how long it takes you to build and different types of things and stuff like that we'll get to those questions but um do you spend the majority of your vr time uh building embarrassingly yes i do okay all right not embarrassingly (laughs) so much time building we are all grateful for it um i think we can all say (laughs) thank you so much because and that's why i do it yeah contribution that you add to this game is um we're all just very thankful for it there's not enough of you it's nice of you to say (laughs) um okay so let's talk a little bit about your building experience how long have you been building uh and were you part of the early testing right so i wasn't part of the early early testing um i signed up in october 2022 Mm mm-hmm um so it's not as long as some as some of the others um but i did sort of persevere it was it was quite tricky to begin with because i mean when i joined um i was i felt a little left behind 
in the okay. sense that uh, other builders they were already creating great maps um i hadn't even learned how to use the builder fully <laughs> um i do remember tiffins joining me in a build um and i didn't actually realize that people could join you in your build and she gave me a bit of a, a bit of a fright really um but she gave me so much encouragement it, it was um, kind of heartwarming yeah um, and give me reassurance to keep building um i mean another time love trooper came into a, a room um my god what an easy guy to talk to Mm -hmm. um, he had much more experience than me. Um, he was able to teach me grouping, texture changing on on prefabricated assets. Yeah. Um, I mean that that was a, a game changer. I I have seen some of the stuff that you guys have created over time, and I'm just like, huh, holy cow! You guys are. Yeah. Like, I keep saying it, but it's literally that what has come to my mind is is just amazing stuff. So, um. So I, I don't know if you play any other building games, but are you able to compare Sandbox to other building games? I don't play any other building games whatsoever, unfortunately. Okay, all right. So um, I, I really can't make a comparison. Okay, no problem. What about, um, instead of comparing it, let's talk about your inspiration for your build. Do you build um, for art? Do you play for ba uh, playability? generally i mean and here obviously this is art um we're not playing this is just it. art yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean um, i try to fortes. get it well I, I try to get a good balance between the, the gameplay aspect and and for the map to look good mm -hmm. um it's it's a real fine line to get something that looks well and plays well it's, it's so easy to go either side of that line you might have the best looking map ever and everybody hates it it, you just can't get a good <laughs> game played in it and and vice versa you get some maps that look really bad but they play awesome so yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fine line i try and create a balance but i do like to um surprise people so i like i like to create an ambience um i like i like things to look different mm -hmm. it just gives it a certain uniqueness because there, there are a lot of maps out there that look quite similar to each other Yep, um, I have noticed um, I built a ball pit and then I scrummaged around and looked for other ball pits and there are other ball pits. So, um, yeah, I love of... your ball pit. <laughs> it needs a lot of work, man. It needs a lot of work. <laughs> um, you can but tell it it's like so beginners. Uh, it does play really well. It is an uglier map, but uh, my intention and was... And there's a rocket up the top. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, basically, you were saying that uh, now you build not not necessarily solo sometimes you build with others is that true no I, I build solos but i mean i will ask a few of the other builders for advice i'll get them in and they, they might show me a thing or two like recently i had to um ask dirty monkey to um show me how he he explodes his building so you'll notice with some of uh, monkey's call of duty maps he has these um buildings that look like they've been hit by mortars and the likes of so you yeah. have bricks everywhere and yeah lots of rubble so i had a good idea of how how you do it and i mean a good tip for builders is just to go into other people's maps and have a look break it down have a look at how they do things excellent um, tip <laughs> but i mean when you can get that information from the horse's mouth it's all that much better so Monkey showed me things like that. You know, there may be another aspect that I might ask one of the other builders to come in. I might give Weller a shout. I might give um, more Cowbell a shout. Yeah. Um, it, we, we kind of help each other like that. Okay. Very good. Um, and then uh, do you draw inspiration for, from things? Like, do you see TV shows or look up things online? Well, like, what do you do? My inspiration is 100% my, my son. So I will take something he likes. Um, he will have his headset on. He'll load in the pop one. He'll jump into a builder with me. And we, we, will, talk, we will talk about what, what I'm going to build. And he will give me feedback. And his feedback is the most critical for me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always him that I'm trying to sort of impress, I suppose. Yeah. How but old yeah, is he, your son? But yeah, he is 100%. He's nine. Yes, I love this. Okay, so you've got your nine-year-old son kind of uh, giving you your first feedback and criticism of your maps. Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> 100%. 
Uh, our future of Pop One right there. <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, how would you describe like the learning curve? Um, when I look at, you know, things that you guys have built and I look at even this, these flowers, I've tried a vase of flowers before. Didn't go so well, but they look <laughs> like flowers. I just, they just don't look very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> how would you describe the learning right. curve? For me, the learning curve, the, there wasn't a learning curve. I was flatlining for a long time. Um, <laughs> I mean, you, you again, you start to see other other builders' creations and you work out how they do things and mm -hmm. the pieces of the puzzle come together and you sort of introduce them into your maps and then you might tweak it a little bit to make it a little bit different. Right. Um, and then they the, will come uh, into your map and then they will said, see what you've done and they will have their Taffy, own take on that. Have you ever scrapped a map? But as soon as you start realizing how you can idea. manipulate the uh, the shapes and the textures, I mean, you can apply a texture to one shape and mm -hmm. it will look completely different on another. So you can use that texture to your advantage to create something that looks completely different to what it originally did. Um, and did. as soon as you figure that out, the the learning curve steepens and it, it rockets, really rockets. Okay. Cool. But it's perseverance, 100% perseverance and perspiration. <laughs> Every time you put the headset on, man, and it heats up, perspiration right there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say hello to my people now in uh, Twitch and Facebook. As you guys are loading up, if you could share out the content, we are here interviewing Taffy Dragon, one of our sandbox builders of Population One. You guys know Taffy from the uh, Jungle Warfare that was dropped into our evolving map. And uh, Taffy's here to show us a few tips, tricks, ideas, knowledge about building in Sandbox. So I want to say hello to Paula. I want to say hello to Ass Clown, uh, more Cowbell. As you guys are popping in, if you want to lurk, because I can see some hey other people in there, it's okay to lurk. Hello, Ryan. Uh, I've got a couple of questions for you in chat, if you don't mind. I'm going to ask them. Arms underscore. So Ass Clown wants Said. to know, have you ever scrapped an Taffy. idea? Because your son trashed the idea. My son is very kind. <laughs> he would, he would, he would, he would look at the creation. I mean, if if he doesn't like it, he won't tell me he doesn't like it. But he will give me um, feedback on how to improve it to make him like it. Um, he, he's very thoughtful in how he sort of conducts himself in that way. He he doesn't be too critical fortunately mm -hmm. um so yeah he, he does he, he does give me some brutal feedback well, but 107 not to the point where i would totally scrap a map said okay. i would just ignore him Taffy. anyway <laughs> perfect um all right we've got quite a few other people's coming in here atheist i uh, okay guys i'm gonna start uh, asking taffy more questions if you want to load up chat with your hellos and uh, additional questions that's cool i'll try to get to them uh, we are going to move on to our next question. Let's talk about um, Sandbox. Why should people explore Sandbox other than playing TDM? Why should they come in and explore like building and things like that? I think it, it, it just gives it, it gives population one a whole new dimension. Um, you, it enables you to sort of literally get lost in, in a completely different world that you can create um, and also into the minds of other people mm -hmm. um it, it, it's a real good way just to see the the diversity i suppose of of d different ideas it, it, everything's changing continuously nothing is monotonous okay and uh what would you say is like the most requested feature um of a map or like the top three what do people want the most something that we haven't got at the moment is that what you mean yeah oh crikey there are so many um <laughs> I mean, breakable glass. We, we've asked for breakable glass um, so many times. <laughs> I think it might come at some point. Mm -hmm. um, there's textures. You can never have enough textures. Um, Whiskey Girl oh, 98 I'm trying to think of said some others. Um, hey, Tipsy movable, and Taffy. Movable assets. That would be good. Things uh -huh. that you can actually interact with. Sure. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Like a that door would be that you can actually very, swing very... open. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I mean, fog. 
things like fog. Oh, um, I love fog. I'm down for anything yeah, that can I mean, create that a would, good spook. <laughs> yeah, that would fit so well in some of my maps. Um, yeah. Even a simple simple setting uh, such as a way to toggle um, the, the blue barrier uh, being mm -hmm. visible or, or invisible. Um, there's nothing worse than seeing somebody and thinking you can shoot them. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering why you're not hitting it's them, not and it turns yeah. out they stood behind. Yeah, yeah. So that that's a bit of a pain sometimes. Um, and also, a, a lighting editor would be good. So you can adjust the the way the light hits certain shapes. You know, you just just to be able to just where the shadows are cast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, a color wheel. A color wheel is a, is a good option. And if they introduce every prefab from the main battle royale map. Including the tower, that would be yes. very nice. Yes, <laughs> I have a feeling that would be super fun if we've got everything from the yeah. original map. How the things we could do. <laughs> All yeah. Right. Well, um, now is where I kind of ask you to teach me to build something new. Do you want to do it in here, or do you want to bring me somewhere else? Um, first? We can, yeah, we can. Oh. We can move on. Um, okay. Let's head down here. I love this. <laughs> Next room. <Woo! laughs> so, I'm, I mean. I'm in a little audience. I'm in a little theater. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> one one of the things that I think has been very useful is the fact that we now have text. So, whereas before we were having to make our own text, mm -hmm. we we now have text um one one thing that people do struggle with is the alignment of the text mm -hmm. lady it's hard to get it gaming into alignment i mean there's a little said tip that What's i use for tipsy? that let me just move that over What's there up, lady? Hi, whiskey. so when i'm doing my lettering mm -hmm. i will just spawn a cube the good old cube and I will use that as my my wall. Okay. And I will then put put my lettering On the against wall. there. Yeah. So basically, what that means, everything snaps to that. So I can just spawn a load of these letters if I can get my menu out of the way. Mm -hmm. I just find it so much easier to do it this way. Mm -hmm. And as long as you've got your snap on, it should align itself quite nicely to the grid. Mm -hmm. I mean, that way, you know, you've got everything in place then. And it's right. just a case of just grouping. Yeah. And then you can okay. you can rotate that around, obviously, to I get it to like line up. That. OK. But there's also, I mean, if you want to head down to the next room. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> this is all for you guys. <laughs> Woo! Look at this. Oh my god, this is like perfect for like a clan meeting, you guys. This would be great. That's what we do. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then back to the bar for a few. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. You built right, like so... our own. Uh, what are these melee weapons? I guess you would call them. Oh, they are. They are. They are. They are actually prefabs. They they're nice. ready to spawn straight up. Uh-huh. Already. I play with those. I seriously, I, I want to play with these big blocks. Make these a thing. <laughs> God, make these a thing, please. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so a perfect uh, example of using one, um, one thing to make something completely different. These these wine goblets I got here. Uh-huh. And the, the plates are both the same thing. They're the same thing? So... Yep, so this shield I have here. Okay, yep. I can stretch that out. <gasps> oh my god! And then shrink that down. There you have your, your bowl that. and stem of your wine glass. Oh my goodness, okay. So it, it's it's just practicing with manipulating the... The things that we've given, we we are already have. given, and making yeah. them something completely different. Oh, that is super. And cool. obviously, the the plates are just turned upside down. 
Uh huh. Yep. Now, and I'm curious. But you can also, yes, you can make a, a torch with that as well, mm -hmm. if you wanted. Yes, and then make a tiki lounge. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With more amaretto sours, yeah? Exactly. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, let's talk about favorite maps, okay? Uh, what is your favorite map that you've made? Favorite map I've made? Well, I'm a, uh, I'm a big Burton fan, so I, I do like... Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh -huh. So I think that purely because of the way that it looks and the feel that it gives, it's, it's got that sort of Whiskey darkness girl, about it. Mm -hmm. I think that that's probably Said. the one that, that so I enjoy the most. Mm -hmm. Now uh, it doesn't necessarily an... mean that it plays any better. I did an interview in that room uh, with It's Your Girl Zephyr. So if you guys in chat ah, cool. um, want to watch uh, the interview with Zephyr, uh, that is Taffy Dragon's map. So, yeah. Um, now, what are some other map titles that we would uh, be familiar with or that you have in store? Oh, crikey. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I've made quite a few. I mean, what, I've got some of the early ones that sort of very, very briefly found their way into an adventurous playlist, um, mm -hmm. such as The Courtyard. Um, but I've got quite a few that did feature uh, on the on the featured playlist. Um, Talk of the Town being one. Yep. Um, obviously, Jungle Warfare. We're all familiar mm -hmm. with that one. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, Diagon Alley. That's another mm -hmm. popular one. Yep. Um, the SGC one champs collab, which, as Wella said in your interview with him, um, was real fun to make. Really enjoyed ah. doing that one. It was great getting together. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I've got a few others then that um, didn't really gain any traction. Um, I will tweak them a little bit and pop them back out there, and hopefully they will pick up a little. Okay. Um, I, I can show you. Uh, I can show you those. Perfect. Well, do we want to venture on to another room, or are you uh, good to continue yeah, let's in go. here? Okay, cool. What do we have down here? Waster Fox, oh. 84. Oh. Well, that's my Set. dungeon. Can we, Hello, oh, we can go Taffy. down there, too. <laughs> 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 we strap up the bad boys. Yeah, nobody's guys. been naughty enough to end up in the, jung <laughs> in the dungeon, so we're we good. Woo! All right. All right, I like this one. This is a little uh, ski resort looking. Yeah. Okay. I um, have to be very careful because every time I um, palm underscore s try to fly or do anything said, in builder mode, I feel like I. I, I think could that they should make up. skins based on the evolving <laughs> oh, map. Oh, you're sandbox. fine. You're fine. Oh, we got a nice space room here with all of our planets. This is nice. Yeah, so we'll head over to the uh, the, the, the spaceship. Okay. Aha, and we've got our uh, podium here for uh, continued talking. <laughs> I love this. It's throughout the whole map. I love this, you guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting spoiled here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, let's go ahead and keep going. Um, in terms of like Big Box and they published your uh, Jungle Warfare map, um, do you have any favorite dev maps? Ooh, oh, crikey! No, you're asking. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's probably going to be Sanctum. It, it has to be um, for the the. The style of my style of play, um, mm -hmm. Sanc Sanctum, sort of suits me better. It, it's a Fox nice eighty-four. Not confined. It's not. It's not a small map, but it's, it's, it's not a big barrel, map by any stretch of the imagination. But barrel. I always seem to do well on that one. So, kudos to that map. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that one for me is is probably the, my favorite. Cool. Out of the devs maps. Okay. Uh, and then let's talk about any fails that you have. Any failed assets or bloopers where you've built and then you were like, that was just such a bad idea. 
<laughs> Anything uh, that you want to share? Probably, there? but I tend to erase them out of my mind and pretend it never happened. <laughs> um, what I will do is I'll take something and I will keep manipulating. If I'm not happy, I will keep working it, keep working it until I'm happy. So I don't necessarily, there is one I can take you to mm -hmm. that I've made in a rush and I absolutely hate it. And I will change it, but um, I have to wait until the end of the year because it is Christmas themed. Okay. All and right. there's well, a I'm big excited. ugly Santa. I can take you there right now. Sure. Sweet. Here we go, right. guys. Let's go see the blooper. <clears throat> <laughs> I did actually publish this map as well. Okay. I'm sure I had a few comments on how ugly this guy is. <laughs> I right, can't so wait now. Let's find now. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And this was early, mind. This, I hadn't made many Waste maps at this point. 84. Said. Let's go. Play-Doh. Play-Doh. West... <laughs> West of Fox says TNT barrels and breakable barrels. Yeah, that would be nice to have. Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my God. Look at how oh, I remember this map. I remember this being in a map. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor so this guy down here is. <laughs> He's not my Prodis creation. <laughs> I was just wondering how you were moving so jaggedly while you were flying, but you've got your speed changed. <laughs> okay. I was being lazy. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to say anything rude, but um, yeah, he could <laughs> use some work. <laughs> Poor Santa. It's okay, buddy. Yeah. So in terms of yet failed assets, you're looking at him. Okay. That's nice. He's nice. But if mm -hmm. but if I do shrink him, he looks presentable. But oh, okay. he, he needs to be the size of a grain of rice for that to happen. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, I remember being in this map. This was actually pretty fun to play, regardless of what uh, yeah, Nick well. looks like. Yeah, and you got your little elf guys running around. Yeah, so simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, even looking at, it, at them now, I'm, I'm kind of cringing slightly because of the simplicity of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't make them like this now. He almost looks like a crayon, though. I mean, ooh, you could make, yeah. like, crayon people. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a green crayon. <laughs> Aw, you know, this is cute, though. Um, and then, how Waste long does it take 84. you to build things like this? I mean, Said not just this map, but, he's like, going to suck and out things my like soul. that. Um, how long did it take you to well. build the Masters? <laughs> It's it, too long, really. Um, I, I mean, I'll build for sort of 10, 20 hours and then find myself deleting everything and starting again. And I might repeat that process then two or three times because mm -hmm. I'm just not happy and I'm not happy with the, with the direction I'm going. Um, so I'll, I'll, I could easily spend 100 hours Dirty building a, an OK map. Um, Said. Joined and I would have deleted about Sorry. 40 hours worth of work on that as well. More so cowbell, 520. Like. Um, I mean, ironically, um, Nobody has Jungle ever Warfare seen was Santa. probably Maybe my he looks quickest like that. map. That would explain um, why he comes while we sleep. didn't take all that long. Uh -huh. um, I mean, you want to head over there? Yeah, sure. I can show you exactly why it didn't take long. Well, and, and more cowbell did make a really good point. Nobody's actually ever seen Santa. We don't know that he doesn't look like that. Hey, that's that is thank you, Cobell. Uh -huh, that is a uh -huh. good point. Yeah, this could actually, be I Santa, have I have guys. seen him, and he looks exactly like that guy out there. Oh, see, Taffy was just yeah. going from like <laughs> the exact real thing. We just uh, have fluffed Santa. I just didn't want to mind. frighten you guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't know Saint Nick looked right. like he belonged in Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Arms reach underscore. Here we go, guys. Said. Psoriasis is Santa. The psoriasis is Santa. Wow. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Arms reach. Yep. All right. I know this map. You guys know this map. This is our jungle warfare map. Love it. All right. So another thing you may notice with my maps is the mm -hmm. fact that they are 
the vast majority of them at 99.9% of mm-hmm. the budget. Mm-hmm. I try to cram as much in there as I can without having too many. Um, Waste of Fox 84. I mean, sometimes it, it struggles Said, to render certain things and you, you might have a, a game that's a bit characters. laggy uh, when you've got a lot of smaller cubes and shapes together yeah. in a confined space. Um, it, I mean, I assume that it's the, the hardware, the, the actual headsets that, that struggle to process that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's a little tricky, um, but a map like this, I mean, if I, if you want to have a look at one of these parrots over here. Yes, I love the birds. Wait, there we go. I mean, he is at... He's so cute. Oh, no, not that one, because I got him deselected. So the, the parrots, I think, are 1.5, maybe even more, of the of the budget. I'm trying to find one that I've got grouped. There's one there. Oh, so they're exactly 1%. For each bird, is 1% of the budget. Okay. Um, the palm trees, they're very, very basic. Mm-hmm. Um, but they are 0.5%. Okay. I mean, what do we have? So More than 30 in here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, originally, this map did have the, the fir trees around the top. Mm-hmm. But it was a little too easy for everybody to get up there and hide in the trees. Yep, so it, I can it see that. It became not so much fun. So, yeah, I added the uh, the red zone um, okay. and took and thinned the trees out a little. So it's all for um, the aesthetics now, I suppose, mm-hmm. up there, whereas the main playable space is, is down here. But there's nothing too complex on this map. It's just relatively simple, straightforward. Um, I mean, it's, it's almost a beginner's map. It's just the way that it's laid out and... And, and the feel of it. I think that's mm-hmm. what's gone in its favor. And uh, what percentage is your gator? Or your, actually, this is a croc. So you guys know the difference between crocodiles and gators is the size of their snout and a few other things, but that's how you can tell the main difference. How much was this uh, so crocky? He, he is 1.3. Okay. And I also have a snake over here yep i remember there's a snake in here. he's at 1.1 yeah. beauty nice work on this guy too the little swirl around i love that your ideas for where you place things are just uh i i don't know that i would have the same thought i would be like oh let's put a snake in here okay let's put him uh i don't know on the ground over here but you find him around <laughs> a blob the- on the floor yeah exactly in fact i have yeah i have done a snake before and he looks nothing like this he's a travesty really <laughs> arms reach <laughs> underscore um said all right. <laughs> Keep that going. red zone barrier so makes the whole map to... feel hot Another room. Mm-hmm. This one here will give you an idea of. <clears throat> Wait for this to load up. Yeah, and in your uh, jungle warfare, um, Arms Reach made a good point. Right. The, the red zone barrier makes it feel hot. It actually gives it a temperature feeling. It does. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I like hot that. Hot and sweaty. It adds, yeah, it adds to it. What are we in here? Right. So I've I've made this just to show you guys and your mm-hmm. followers mm-hmm. how much Palm we get S. to use to make up one percent of each of the shapes. Uh huh. Yeah. I loved this sandbox map. So they should have had a commando skin when this went into see evolving. Here, this corner. Mm-hmm. Eight hundred and forty-seven of those I can spawn, and it will take. And that will use up 1% of my budget. So you can see there's 847 of those all the oh way up the top. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Said. Agree with arms Compare reach. that to... Your spheres. Yeah. Your spheres. Mm-hmm. 27 I'm able to spawn for the same, wow. the same okay. amount. So these are our um, shapes, so th- guys, it- and how much you can get for 1%. Holy cow, that's cool. <laughs> what made you want to build this? <laughs> what gave well, you Well, I like, just wanted to I wanted to show life? you sh- show you guys. Uh-huh. W- what we are working with and how 
why we use certain shapes for certain things because uh -huh. i mean many a time i've been asked why don't you do it like this and it's uh -huh. it's like the, the budget simply won't allow so we have to make things out of other things yeah um I mean, this is even an down awesome to depiction of of what you guys Palm are describing with our um, budget said, for building. This is cool. What a wonderful amount of info here. Right. This is like the best data in VR you can get for building. This is cool. I'm a, da a kind of a data nerd, so this is cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> um. How many maps have you built, Taffy? Arms reach underscore. Oh, I had a Said. purge around about Publish this and eight make weeks it ago. copyable. Um, I did have... Wasterfox84. Probably Said. 30... Play. 30 playable maps. Um, and then oh. multiple maps that I, will work, I was working on at the time. Uh -huh. um, at the moment, I have uh, 3, 6, 9... 18, 24, 30, I got 34 at the moment, um, okay. but I've got rid of all my maps that I'm working on. So yeah. I do have a full, fifth, I believe the full 15 published, because they've just recently give, given us Said. an extra five yes, slots, all so you can publish an extra five maps. It, it was originally info. 10 maps per builder, they've upped that to 15. Which yep. is, it's great. Which is a good thing. It's great. Yep. I mean, yep. yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's good. So we can, we can rotate our maps, you know. Um, I can take something off and put an older map on um, if, if I wanted to. Now, you know, we've if, got if somebody in uh, chat, change. Arms Reach, saying, uh, publish this and make it copyable. Are you being serious, Arms Reach? Will do. <laughs> yep, yep, will do. Arms Reach okay. loves his charts and graphs. Yeah, uh-huh. This is super cool, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm done nerding out. We'll keep going. Cool. <laughs> um, do you work at, uh, you kind of answered this already, but do you work with one map at a time or do you bounce around to different maps as you're building and making decisions on things? Well, I mean, I try and see a map through Arms once I've started. Underscore. I may have Said. one distraction. I'm never working yes. on more than two at a time. Okay. Waste fox. I might 84. put something on a back burner and think. Said. I'll wait till something Show hits me. Your first. The problem I get is if if I'm working on two maps Waste together, I'll have these creative ideas Said. and I'll start introducing it into map. my one map, and then I'll be thinking, well, I could have used that in my other map, and mm -hmm. it, I kind of restrict myself. So I'd rather focus on one one map alone. Okay. Um, see that through, and then start another. Okay, and so as yeah, you're generally one, on them, ne never more than two. Okay, um, and as you're working on them, um, how do you like keep yourself going? Do you listen to music? Do you invite people in your rooms to chat with? Like, um, kind of what what do you do to work so many hours in a map to I, keep yourself going? I'm the most ignorant person ever when I'm building. Um, <laughs> to the point where I forget people are in the room with me. Uh -huh. I go up quiet because I'm concentrating so hard and someone may speak and I will jump a mile and I will totally Common forget that they're in the VR. room with me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, music is normally my hey, uh, hey, my escape when I'm building. But I mean, the sandbox alone, just building alone is, is enough of an escape oh, to yeah. keep me focused. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are times where, yes, I've fallen asleep with a headset strapped to my face. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you know, you, you've been oh building gosh. a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I haven't done that one, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you so, maybe build uh, Santa while you were sleeping? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Right in the feels. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, so, I mean, I could take of... you to um, some of my early maps, if you like, or yeah. um, some maps that you may not have seen, possibly. Mm -hmm, sure. And you've mentioned uh, now right. falling asleep while building before. Um, do you drink while you uh, build as well? I've hear I've heard that a, a lot of the builders like to uh, set a few back while they're building. Well, I'm teetotal, so <laughs> so no. Okay. I build a bar just to watch everybody else get drunk. Oh, perfect! Right. Okay. I don't indulge S. myself. <laughs> he said. 
<laughs> He's the fly on the wall. Shout right. out to all the other happen. master builders viewing this. <laughs> yeah, all right. Nice. So this one is my most recent map. I'll just load this Waster one up. Fox 84 okay. said, Me. Waster Fox 84 Thank you guys for joining in Facebook and Twitch said, as I'm doing my sandbox builder wait, interview with Taffy Dragon. You guys Waster know Fox Taffy 84 from the uh, Jungle Warfare said, map that was in our evolving map. No. Regular play mode. Uh, he's showing me around and some of his beauties, and uh, here we are. I, I feel like I am in Saving Private Ryan all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this guy. Taffy's Tank. Taffy's Tank. So, Taffy's <laughs> Tank, this is a nod to Dirty Monkey. Um, on his um, airport uh, map, his Call of Duty map, um, uh -huh. he named a few of the structures, buildings, after... Some of us builders give us give us all a nod, mm -hmm. and he labelled the tanks, um, Taffy's tanks. So I thought, well, I've just built the tank. So as a nod to Monkey, let's call it Taffy's, Taffy's tanks. tanks. He will know what it is. I know what it is. Nobody else will have a have a clue. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a, just a just a little nod. I like this. Now this is uh, you were also talking about um, how to make a building look like it's been exploded. Is this a good example? Of yeah. That? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one here is the this is the one I called Monkey in on to mm -hmm. just to give me a hand, um, just to get the the feel of it. You know, the the debris and all the rubble everywhere. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> nice. Um, I I do feel like these pieces have fallen off of the building. Like, it looks good. Um, any I just other... noticed a few of them are floating. Uh oh, well I didn't notice. <laughs> they no longer float in. Mm -hmm, there we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, it looks like maybe they're falling. <laughs> I'll take that. Uh huh. That's yeah. the effect I was going for. Yeah. 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 Exactly. See, I'm just trying to help you out there. God, go with it. <laughs> <laughs> They listening. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, we've got another one where he's got um, a house that has exploded from the taffy tank. This is this super cool? I always say that now. Uh, super cool, super cool. Now we've got a, a beautiful airplane up here with some. Uh, Shots fired, and then Waste check out this uh, explosion over here from Said, the shots fired. Totally awesome. For such a dark and gritty tone, we <laughs> don't have cool. the right lighting. So there is a there is a tunnel underneath as well on this map. So if you didn't mm -hmm. want to get from one side to the other without sort of avoiding all the action, you can oh, just dip down underneath. Yes. And there's my launcher. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. I like this map. How playable is this map? Is this a uh, well? A map we've that only you've given it a couple before? of. Yeah, I mean, uh, a, a few of us have had a, a few games on this one. It, it mm -hmm. seems to play pretty well. Um, Probably needs a little tweak in here and there, but there there are so many red rockets. It's 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 real good fun. <laughs> it's my favorite. I mean, oh, red rockets yeah. save the day. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what makes a good map. Just saying, map builders. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when do you get arms like, reach underscore? How do you get your maps noticed? Said, do you share content this anywhere? This is great do you, to play. Uh, do photos? Do you um, go on Discord? How do you share out your yeah? Your so creations? I mean, Discord is probably the best way mm -hmm. to get your maps noticed. Um, it, plenty of screenshots. I mean, you, you need to post something with a good picture Dirty to Monkey, get people's attention. Um, Said, make people want to click it. Really is that, fun. That is definitely the best way. I do Palm pop it on the Reddit as well. Said. Um, but Discord is probably the, the number one to get it noticed. And okay. not only that, uh, I mean, most of the builders, if not all the, the, the top builders, um, use Discord. And as soon as they see a, a map pop up, it will get looked at. You know, okay. whether it's by another builder or someone unheard of. If it, if it's on there and it looks good, it will it will be noticed by the builders. Okay. One hundred percent. And and if it plays well, then 
we will push it as hard as we can to get it noticed even more. Perfect. Well, one of my favorite Beanie things in a map Beanie. is secret Said, doors, hidden rooms. Just got <laughs> secrets here. of things this in, here and there. Uh, do one. you have any maps or a specific map that you'd Waste like to show me 84. where maybe you've hidden a few things? Said nearly every yes. map I've ever done, um, including Beanie this one. There's two um, secret rooms. If you want to Said, fly with me on this one because yes. uh, I guess they're quicker. Ty. Yeah. So if you ever do find yourself playing this map, head to this broken building over here onto the first floor. And this is a false wall here, so you can walk straight into that. And this is just full of red weapons. Oh, nice. And you, you have the same over the other side of the map as well with the same building. Okay. I, I'm going to take you to another map. This is mm -hmm. my um, RMX competition. So we we done a little community led build a competition where we, we took a, a real good playable map and done our own take on it. And this is one of my two entries. Ask Clown okay. VR said show us the builder bar. The builder bar. So yep, this one we'll, here uh, we'll do that after this. <laughs> they want to see the builder bar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, the, the builder's bar is actually here as well. Oh, okay, perfect. On a smaller this, scale. Okay. So yeah, reading is mine. These are my, these are my rooms. Okay. Waste of rooms. Ops, eighty-four. So I'll perfect. take you to each, each one of those. Okay, let's go. Too late. <laughs> so Rocket Mania, as you've seen on the map, the clue for this one is Elton. Elton I John, Elton. Rocket Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you head over here, this room is just plastered in red rockets. Nice. There's okay. So many red rockets here. Nice. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> the other one we have. I do forget where I put them myself. This one here, Midas. So this is Gold Rush. Oh. If you walk yep. between the two crates, it won't okay. work anywhere else, but if you walk between the two crates, you will come through into the gold room, yeah. and everything's gold in here. Okay, all right. I like that. <laughs> you will recognize the, the next one. Okay. From... Just follow this tape. Woo! It's the theater, yes! Yeah. Very cool. Dang, Again, plenty of red, uh, red <laughs> rockets in in here. This one down here is the art gallery. Again, between the two crates, Ooh. you've got red weapons all around in here. Yep, love it. Now, when you're showing off these maps, uh, do you bring people to the rooms or do you let them find them? Sometimes. Rooms? Okay. Sometimes. Uh -huh. um, it, it all depends. I may show one you or two, um, but people Said. do like to Request. find them themselves. So, hey, out of every single room, I've left clues. Okay. Um, like you've seen with Eldon on the van, this one uh -huh. has a playing card. Uh huh. Um, so, if you head into the wall here. Yeah. It's poker night, guys. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Very cool. And finally, this is one you are definitely familiar with. Crazy thing is, I can't remember how to get there. <laughs> I'm just going to fly mode to it. <laughs> okay, okay. Time to drop. Here we go. Waster Fox 84. Mm -hmm. In here. Yep. Said. Hey. Oh, I yeah. remember the, the RMX. I got disqualified. <laughs> this thing is so things beautiful. like this that, I mean, you would never think that this room was in a map like that. It's completely mm -hmm. out of theme. Um, is it, that's the little Easter eggs I like. Something that you're not expecting. If you do stumble, um, stumble across something like that, you're like, oh, wow. Was not expecting that. So I'm realizing something that uh, was mentioned in the last couple of interviews, how they want uh, assets to be copyable, that kind of stuff. 
We started in Palm the builder's S. bar for the interview. Said, did you actually build this thing well, twice? Right, no. So what I did with this one, I saved a copy of this map. Mm -hmm. And then I deleted everything outside and kept just the bar. Okay. And then okay. I expanded the bar mm -hmm. and saved it as his own copy. Mm -hmm. So I was able to use the bar and the, the theater from this uh, from this map. Okay. Smart. Look, that's I was the like, only oh way. Gosh, yeah. Actually built it twice. <laughs> it just means that you need to delete everything on mm -hmm. the on the outside. Because um, I have built a so, pool table before, not this gorgeous, of course, but uh, and I remember it taking a long time to build and precisely get everything the right size and look right, and the holes tricky. are very difficult. Yeah, um, and so I was just imagining what that might be like to build it. Two times. No thanks. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the same. Yeah, definitely mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. Not for that one. Okay. Um, if I can take you to, um, we were talking about a, a fog sort of asset, if you like. Um, yeah. One of the things that I would like to see. So my second entry for the the remix competition. Dragon that one up, Is this one here? Ooh, this would be awesome with fog. Yes. So Ooh, with this one foggy. here, yeah, that's the best effect that we could get given the assets Dragon that we've got. So yeah. to create this fog effect, Thanks it's basically just a simple tree um, stretched, stretched out. out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, as you look through it, you can see that the swirls in the uh, yeah, sort of the the green underneath it. It just gives it a nice eerie um, oh, effect. I like this map. This is a a little rocky, but this is almost like Camp Crystal Lake with Jason. <laughs> Somebody build that, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is the next super project. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would love like a horror series of all you builders picking like a horror film and you all have to do a map like this out of it. Oh, God, that, I I want to be the yeah. judge in that. <laughs> that would be good. Uh-huh. Oh, this is a nice map. Cool. Right, another one that um, I would have liked to have seen fog on is the my Harry Potter Battle Royale map. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to have put the fog in, in Hogwarts. Will you take um, me to Hogwarts? I can take you to Hogwarts, yes, oh, I can. Yay! Maybe. I haven't been there. It's on my <laughs> list of uh, do an interview here map. <laughs> and, and it's on that list. I just it's very gone. basic, this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you also the builder of Diagon Alley? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought, yep. Right. So I'll show you something interesting in, in a second. Okay. If you follow me to um, Diagon Alley when I eventually load More it. More cowbell 520. Said. Verukusult made a camp crystal lake in beta. Oh. Lots of blood. It Haven't seen while. her build in a long time. Okay. I also noticed somebody built uh, the Bates Motel. They did a pretty good job. I got halfway through. Yeah, that is a, uh -huh. a cool one. Got invited to a game, so I had to leave. But uh, that one was cool. Private Drive, where Harry Potter's so, family lives. Yes. With Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. This that is map waste of is 100, well, 99.9% budget. Uh-huh. I'm going so, to steal like, like I just uh, mentioned Kathy. on the last one where I deleted everything around the outside and just kept the, the bones. I've done exactly Devil's the same with Reaper. Diagon Alley. So this okay. is Diagon Said. Alley. Um, Can he do a Pennywise to, him? To create, uh, to get a budget to make the rest of the map, mm -hmm. I had to delete everything out of the shops. Oh, So man. all the interiors, yeah. But okay. by deleting all that from the shops, um, it gave me 50% budget Ooh, to play with. And with that 50%, yeah. I was able to make the entire map with that 50%. There's Harry's owl. 
I haven't been all the way through all of these shops. So, I, uh, yeah, I need to go through the uh, Diagon Alley map for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll take you there you after this one. You did an amazing so, job of all, the, all of these, uh, like, rotations. Cookie of, buildings. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, you created your own windows that look pretty as well. And just, I, I could not do this. There's no way. I couldn't even do one of these. <laughs> I'd be like, that's it. I quit. <laughs> This Very map has cool. a pretty cool secret spot as well. Uh-huh. That I'll be happy to show you. So if you head to King's Cross Station. Mm-hmm. Don't get hit by the train. Whee! Don't get hit by the train. Of course we have platform nine and three quarters. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if you're headed up the up the tracks. Oh. Yeah, that room, yeah. that room there, that's uh -huh. Taffy's stash. Okay. So you you've got all your red weapons in in yeah. here and your heels and some Love shield. Love it. Love it. <laughs> it's a good little spot. Waste of one. 84. So let me load up Diagon Alley for you. Yeah, you'll see okay. the you'll see Practice the difference. Um, did you check perfect. out Hogwarts? I did. Yes. That's over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Nice I only wish area. I could fill up the, the interior mm -hmm. with all kinds of crazy stuff. Do you have any but I just cool, don't have the budget. Uh, moving staircases? <laughs> oh, that would be so good. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's load Diagon Alley for you. It's it's just crazy what I was able to build with the the budget saved from deleting the the stuff out of out of Diagon Alley. Insane. Now, if any of you builders it. or uh, people with a, you know, request uh, fire up your butt right now, or you really want to do something that a fan requests, Devil's Reaper really wants a Pennywise map, you know, from it. <laughs> so if you guys ever do the horror competition, somebody do uh, it. That would just be right up his fancy. All right, here we are in Diagon Alley. I'm gonna guess that we have to. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. So, so this is obviously is it's a bit richer. Mm -hmm. There's more inside. Um, mm -hmm. Got the backside too. This is cool. We'll go through the backside over here. Oh wow, I can find myself my favorite, very Yeah, that's lost. my favorite spot, that is. This is a good spot to shoot. <laughs> Dirty yeah. Monkey 78. Oh, gosh. It's a good Said. spot to toss a frag grenade down oh, as well. Oh, movie comp. <laughs> a movie comp, yeah. <laughs> this is cool, so you guys. Head over to Gringotts Bank over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. They scare me over there. Palm underscore S <laughs> said, "Who else has the unique builder title that Taffy has?" Again, it's it's another way of rotating through the map without actually going Too across fox. the uh, yes. the top. Waste of fox eighty four. Oh, head cool. down into the vault. Said, "Yes, movie Tom. I love this. Dirty Monkey 78 said, Only Cowbell Palm. T O A S T T R U T H <laughs> said, I've got TV series. This is probably the, the one I have most fun making. Said, oh, really I enjoy doing this one. Palm underscore Trying to, um, to work top. out how okay. certain textures will sort of react to the to the lighting. Uh -huh. So certain buildings had to be turned a certain way to get a particular type Palm of effect. Um, perfect yeah. example is this one over Said. here. Um, okay. It seemed Beats to the verified work one, I guess. perfectly. So this scoop on the front of this building here. Uh huh. Yep. 
you get a true shadow cast on Waste that one, which, uh, 84. which looks pretty cool. It's, it's just a different Said. effect. It's almost like, like another Four texture. Four done Shrek and space like. balls. It, it, it just gives it an extra depth. All right. Well, Arms uh, reach when you're underscore. building these things and you say, hey, guys, Said. I'm ready for my map to be checked At out. Can you come give me some feedback? Because what they have had their maps like added to, to the evolving map. I will take any feedback. Okay. As long as it's not abusive, mm -hmm. I, I'm willing to take the the criticism. I I, I like a bit of criticism. I said okay. a bit of criticism. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it can be quite healthy. It, it sort of it, you, you you tend to learn um, what people want. Generally, you're never going to please everybody. Yeah. So one person will say, "Do it this way," because that's the way I want it. And the next person will say, do it this way, because that's the way I want it. So they're going to have conflicting opinions. You've got to try and strike a happy medium that, and do something that will Palm suit both S. parties or all parties. Said. Try and make something that will cater yes, for everybody um, and every sort of style of, of, of battle, and if you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, criticism is, 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 is healthy. As long as What's it's done, up? right? Mad Daz and Sly, how you guys doing? Um, everybody hanging out, Parm Waste and Fox, uh, Dirty 84. Monkey, and we've Said, just got a load of beautiful I'll people try in here to get you ultimate out. sandbox. Yeah, what's up, guys? The, yep, nearing the end of our questions here as we're uh, finishing up. Um, let's see here. Let's talk about. Um, Giving a shout out to your builder friends. Um, who are the groups of, of folks that help you, inspire you, build with you, chat with you, and give you support? Oh, I will take you there. <laughs> Just bear with me. He sounds like he's near a window. Can you hear it? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Let me just turn that off. All right. Okay. Here oh, it's absolutely baking here, so I've got the fan on. Yeah, I have a fan on me too, because it's sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Just delete that out of the way because that's okay. going to irritate me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading back to um, the space room. And this is where we started the interview. If you guys are uh, just now joining. He's built me this beautiful area to uh, hang out and uh, begin our content in. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. I like holes in the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is cool, guys. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Here's our builder class. <laughs> right. So, yeah, this, this, this guy here, Kai VR12. Uh -huh. um, only a young lad. I think he's 11, 12, 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I met him during the um, Valentine's Day event. Okay. Um, he was a very foul-mouthed, uh, <laughs> irritating little kid. Mm -hmm. um, but I recognised his accent, and it, it transpires he's from the same uh, town as me. Okay. Um, so I kind of took him under my wing and kind of calmed him down and tried to get him into building and show him how to um to, to vent his his frustrations and and, and the likes of through the through the builder um so this this is just a little nod to kai vr12 mm -hmm. he's, he's still quite foul mouth but he's not half as bad as he used to be he's getting there slowly <laughs> oh, <I laughs> so yeah in regards to our builders There they are. Oh, <laughs> there's my guys there. Look at this, you guys. These right. are the <laughs> legends of Sandbox. Mm hmm. 
Palm underscore S. I mean, it's... All right. Let's give said. They're Come probably the, the best That's bunch. That's so cool. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Arms I'm, reach If underscore. I've missed anybody, I am so sorry, said. but you certainly do deserve to be there. Very cool. <laughs> but these Waste are the Fox, ones that 84. come to mind. Mm -hmm. Said. I learn with no one. This one here. This is my son. Who, as I said, he is my total inspiration. He Shut gets the gold the box. Yep, yep. Okay, he gets the gold one. <laughs> Love it. Well, there you go, guys. I have a lot of these folks already scheduled for interviews. In fact, uh, we've got more cowbell later on today. Woo! I won't do this the cheater way. I love pyramids. <laughs> Mind your step. Ooh. Palm underscore S. Yee! Said. Welcome to the disco. Well, oh yeah. We got into this, <laughs> the, the secret lounge, the VIP. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's where you get to do your jig. Okay, well, I actually in the VIP. Wait, Fox, I want you in here in the VIP. Said. You're a very important Toast. person of the hour. And uh, I'm going to well, ask you, you a very heated question. Are you ready? Let's do it. Who is your favorite builder? Ask Clown VR. Said. Love this map. <laughs> My favorite builder. <laughs> wow. Um, mm -hmm. Gosh, look, he's even scratching his I, collar I, like he's sweating. Yeah, I can't, like, I can't oh, sweat in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't. I question. really couldn't. Palm underscore um, I mean, S. I'll, said, I'll use a get out of jail free Big card and say this guy a job already. the young man Kai VR12 purely because he's showing willing and he's doing his thing. You know, it's it's kind of, oh, it's really tricky. There's so many talented builders and they build in different styles and each builder is unique to his own style. Dirty Monkey 78 um, said, no, I, I couldn't pick one. I couldn't pick one. <laughs> Any of those guys you see in that Hall of Fame out there, yeah. they're all joint first. 84. Yeah, 100%. Oh, Timmy. <laughs> Shots fired. I know that was a cowardly answer. <laughs> I just liked to watch you sweat. I mean, really, the, that oh, was yeah. a whole show in itself. I mean, I'm in the right place because I was wanting the floor to swallow up, uh, swallow uh -huh. me up. So the, the perfect <laughs> that I was here, actually. Yee! <laughs> this is cool. I love all these secrets, you guys. I Tom was just saying how it's like my favorite thing in the whole world. Said. <laughs> Agree, pressure. <laughs> this is just fun to like mosey around in these like little magic yeah. areas. <laughs> like I said, I, I started store. with the bar um, mm -hmm. and then I sort of added on to that and then added a bit more. And I just, just wanted everything to look different and mm -hmm. not make any sense mm -hmm. which is perfect and hey, we're back in here thank you look at that <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> Ah, well, here we are. We're going to wrap up our interview today in the same place that we started. And I got flowers. Thank you. These are my flowers. <laughs> Don't touch them, you guys. Arms <laughs> reach underscore. <laughs> Said. And that uh, looks like Taffy he might gave try the to right pull a, a few more things out of his hat. I'm not Everybody sure here. Everybody has their but, own uh, style. No, the, the magic's worn off. The magic's, the magic's worn, worn off. off. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I, I only set up a ladder and a bunch of flowers. I, I know, I'm rubbish. You guys, if you missed any part of this interview, the whole thing was loaded with surprises. I love it. Thank you, Taffy, for all the surprises you threw in there. Pulling flowers out of the hat, a ladder out of the hat. <laughs> it was a good time. Um, what are some of your best experiences you've had in Sandbox? Whether it's like build, like, meeting people, like what brings you back to Sandbox so yeah. many hours? Dirty Monkey it's 78. It's 100% meeting the, the community. Taffy um, raised the bar. I mean, they're all an amazing bunch of talented people. I um, <laughs> often find myself in awe of the things that they come up with. Palm and just, just the way that they are. Um, said, it's the icing on the cake of the fact chat. that they're really nice people. Mm -hmm. And such a pleasure to be... It's such a pleasure to be part of the, of that community. I mean, Pop 1 Sandbox community is the best ever. 
um yeah i've met a real real good bunch of people yeah yeah so i well, mean for me it's 100 percent the community and and it's, it's my escape this this is my escape as it is for many of us for sure um well thank you so much taffy dragon you have brought me on not just a, a great interview but a great adventure today your maps are beautiful thank you thank uh, you for having me those of you folks in chat or watching this interview later, you guys know Taffy Dragon from many different builds uh, that he's put out there for us to play in, including Jungle Warfare. Um, if you guys uh, want to check out his building the material, ultimate he's build often of Taffy. on our Population One Discord showing Ask us uh, some of his builds or asking for feedback. Said. And uh, he's Everyone a great ally in chat if you're needs a builder to watch yourself all of Tips and you want to find Taffy for they some uh, input, uh, what a Lots great builder. Lots more this week. So thank you so much. Arms reach underscore. Said. Thank you, guys. Great mm -hmm. interview. All right. As we're wrapping really up, you guys. Really good job to both of you. Thank you, everybody in chat, saying uh, thank kind you. words to both me and Waste Taffy. Fox 84. You guys are going crazy in there. Said. I can tell your support of a uh, community thank you is to all, all up in chat right now. This is why you like building. Hey. This is them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you on the Facebook <laughs> side as well, you guys. I'm going to say goodbye to Taffy Dragon farewell and uh thank you for everything today and thank you guys for popping into chat bye taffy see you later take care and as we roll back into the more lobby cowbell here, 520 give said, you some information on awesome my interview. later interview today all right so We've got uh, more cowbell scheduled out here in a couple of hours. Um, I'm on Pacific time, so it's actually 2.30 my time, 4.30 for Central folks, uh, 5.30 for Eastern. And all you guys across seas, uh, you'll have to figure it out. Usually over in the UK, it's about eight hours different from me. So uh, we've got more cowbell coming up in a little while. Uh, in the meantime, We've got to find you guys somebody yummy to send you on to. One of our population one uh Waste of Fox here, 84. Let's said, see who I can find you. Hope to become one of the greats. Aw, I hope you do too. <laughs> All right. So I think I know who I want to send you to. Let me go ahead and see if they are available in my search here. And if you guys uh, hang tight and go through the raid, you get some extra channel points if you hang out with me while uh, I'm doing that. All right. Uh, newer streamer in my book. I don't know how long he has been streaming, but uh, I know that he could certainly use some hellos in chat. Um, right now he's got only one person in there. So if you guys want to Waste travel Fox, to, 84. to say hello, make sure you guys are Said, following his content. Or, it's uh, 12. That would be great. Waste of Fox 84. To VIP Jason Stone said, and uh, you guys here. all have a beautiful afternoon, lunch, dinner, wherever you're at. I'll catch you in a few hours for more cowbell. Thank you guys for joining me on Facebook and Twitch. See you guys very soon.